Hello students, am I clearly audible and visible? Can all of you let me know? One minute. Yes, hello. Can quickly all of you let me know? Am I audible, clearly visible? Yes? Yes, okay. Good morning. Yes. Hello students, how are you all doing? Happy Dasra first of all. Uh, for all of you today, I know all of you will be celebrating and uh, you know, having so much fun at home. So, we will do a quick, uh, we will do a quick class. Okay. So, you can also celebrate and you can also be with your family and everything. So, before that, I, ha I got a lot of requests. So, I thought I will do it. Okay. How many Tamil students in this class? How many Tamil students in this class? Quickly, let me know. Thank you so much. Happy Dasra to all the students who joined right now also. Okay. Students, how many Tamil students? Okay. Let me see. Okay. I'm uh, I'm going to tell something. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Telugu. Okay. Okay. How, how many students? Malayalam. Tamil. Okay. Okay, students, uh, on a special request, on a special request because I have been talking in Malayalam. Okay, if there is any mistake, you people shouldn't, uh, you know, uh, tell later what is this Gopika ma'am, you have, uh, you know, uh, killed Tamil and all that. Okay, students, so I am going to take an adventure today. The adventure is that, Vanakam Pasangala. That is the adventure I have taken. Vanakam Pasangala, how are you all? That is the only Tamil that I have learnt. Okay, so far. So, is it correct students? Are you all happy? Let me know. Vanakam, okay. <laughs> Vanakam, yes. Yes, so that means uh, the you people understood what I was trying to convey, right? <laughs> Thank you so much. You people are so motivating that I feel like telling a lot, but I don't know. I will learn it slowly. Epidi irke, ma'am. I don't know. I, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, so this was on a special request. Okay, I'm not going to do it in every day's class, but this is on a special uh, request. Yeah, I know. Special class, but then many students are here new watching no, Nandini. Special class, I've done more more adventures, but uh, here first time. Uh, Ambika ma'am also is in this channel, Madhu. Ambika ma'am also is in channel. Have you not subscribed to our channel? Ambika ma'am also is posting video. I am also posting video. Okay. So, yes, students, on a very, very beautiful, auspicious day, let's start our chapter. Okay. Let's start our chapter. So, those who are new to this channel, my name is Gopika and I am your biology educator. Welcome to Unacademy Neat English channel. Okay. And for students who are from Kerala, students who are from Kerala or who are Malayalis, right, who are Malayalis, students, there is a happy news. There is a very, very happy news. I want to know if there are any Malayalis in this class right now. I want to know if there are any Malayalis right now in this class. There is a happy news for them. Okay. So, we are starting an Academy Neat Malayalam channel. Okay. An Academy Neat Malayalam channel. And the link we will post it okay the link is will be posted so students do not forget to go subscribe do not forget to go like the first video and you will get to see lot of my videos there okay so do not forget an academy neat malayalam as soon as you finish this class go subscribe okay because there will all you will get a lot of information there i know most of you not will not be able to understand but then if there are any malayalis in this gang do not be sad because we have come with with an academy neat malayalam okay being said that okay being said that tamil ma'am yeah i only know vanakam pasangala how am i going to teach full chapter in tamil you people tell me I will learn. I will slowly learn. I will slowly learn. Give me some time. How I give you people time? No, you people should also give me time. This is a slow process. 
every day one one word i learn right okay students those who are new to an academy or those who are new to this channel please let understand that we do a lot of crash courses for students who are planning to write they are neat in a less than you know 6 months or 4 months so if you want such kind of crash courses we are totally available for crash courses and these are the price ranges if you want plus classes this will be the price range and if you want iconic classes this will be the uh, range so those who are even planning to write it in 2025 you can still join our batches and get proper preparation for one year and crack your need 2025 okay and students we have already spoken about uaits and uaits is uh Yes, I will be teaching in Malayalam channel. You will only see, you will see a lot of me in Malayalam channel. Okay, yes, I will be teaching in that channel. Very no, no, no. I am not leaving you people and going anywhere. I will be here also. I'll be there also. Okay. Yes, I will not leave you people. You people uh, welcome to me with a very beautiful, you know, that Josh. And I will not leave, let you go. I will not leave you people. The only thing I want you people to do is share the link as much as possible because we know microbes chapter is very, very, you know, it's easy going chapter in the sense out of all the complicated chapters, microbes chapters is easy scoring, right? So we will try to make sure that chapters like this we will hold it strong, right? Yes. So if you don't want me. Right, if if I'll go fully to Malayalam, right? Otherwise, so you people should quickly like the session and quickly share the link with all your friends so that I can show how much josh my students have here. Uh, no, no, Surya, I'm not attempting all that adventures. No, please, <laughs> I'm not attempting any more adventures. So, students, these are the prices for class twelve and droppers. This is the price range, and for class eleven, this is the price range. This is online, and if you want a pen paper based, uh, more like more, uh, you know, very close experience to how uh, you know exams are, you can definitely go for this. Okay, and the only thing that you have to do is use my code Gopika G O P I K A. Okay, yes. Now let's start the class, and I told you people about the toolkit also. Okay, now students, microbes. Is it? Oh. Don't worry, I'll be here. Don't worry, I'll be here. But before that, you people should like the session. Quickly like the session, then we will see. Yes, very good, Shiva Kumar. Okay, students. So microbes. What? So understand first thing. This chapter, at least two to three questions will come. That means say your um, around your twelve marks to eight marks is guaranteed from this chapter. Okay, and the questions will be very very straightforward. There will not be any twist. There will not be any what to say, uh, you know, a very um, scientific reasons or all that will not be there. It will be very direct question. That is why I am telling you this chapter is very very scoring. Okay, now microbes. We have heard about microbes all our life. What we cannot see with our naked eye. What we cannot see with our naked eye, we can see it under micro uh, microscope. And what we see under microscope is your microorganisms. Correct? All of you agree to that? What we see under microscope is your microorganisms. Now, do you think all the microorganisms are bad for us? Because the moment we listen to microorganisms, the first thought is, "Oh my God, I'm going to get an infection." i'm going to get an infection right that is not the truth microorganisms can be microorganisms can be beneficial and it can also be harmful okay it depends on yes okay it depends on organisms to organisms the way they are right so here also in your chapter you are going to study the useful microorganisms that Actually, help us in a day-to-day -day life, like how to live, like to live smoothly. But we do not recognize it. Oh, this is this is done by microorganisms. You won't even know it. So we are going to understand about this tiny organism which we have been ignoring for all our life. So now you are like you have to give it importance. Yes, right. You have to give it importance. Yeah, pathogenic. So students, in our um, when we studied bacteria we study lots of shapes right so this is your rod shape bacteria this is your rod shape bacteria okay this you have to remember you i that last time i told you people know your rod shape bacteria now in your textbook the first thing that we are going to do is your diagrams okay first thing in your uh, textbook yes bacillus first thing we'll do our diagrams so look here this is a rod shape bacteria this is a rod shape bacteria which is given in your ncrt Okay, or your bacilli, bacillus, right? This is your 
your cocci or spherical shaped bacteria, right? This is your spherical shaped bacteria or coccus, right? Now, here, students, this is a uh, magnified image of your same bacillus uh, bacteria where you can see flagella. That means flagellated uh, bacillus. Okay, flagellated bacillus. You can see her shaped back, rod shaped bacterium showing flagella magnified. Okay, so you can look here. Proper rod shape is there. Flagella will be there. Now, why am I taking the diagrams? Is because they will ask you. They will ask you. Okay. No, this is not spirulum. This is only flagella on the rod shaped bacteria. This is not spirulum, do not get it confused. This are flagella. Flagella is different, spirulum itself, that bacteria by itself is, uh, you know, flagellated. It means the shape is spiral, right? Yes. Yes, thank you. Wish you all the same. Okay, students, this one is the second image in your NCRT, that is your virus. Okay, virus. So, we have studied the detailed structure of virus when we studied our... Um, Biological classification, right? And here we see this is the protein code where your capsid will be there, capsomeres will be there, your genetic material will be there. Now, here also you can see compact rod shaped virus. Now, what do virus do? Virus infects us, right? Virus infects us. Now, one thing that will be asked or can be asked as an MCQ question is adenovirus which causes respiratory infection. Students, most of the time what happens when we are studying a lot, we will ignore such small boxes or we will ignore some diagrams and what will happen? Questions will come from that only. For your faith or you know, for your, we can't tell, sometimes luck will be really, really good that, oh, whatever you ignored will not come, but sometimes we cannot predict, right? So, that's why we shouldn't miss even a small bit. So, adenovirus causes respiratory infection, very, very important. Now itself, make a note. Now itself, make a note. Okay, yes, people, you people just join the class, now only asking me when the class, how long is the class? Very disappointing, very disappointing. Okay. Okay, now microbes in household. This is the first topic in your textbook. Okay, microbes in household. That means which are the uh, microbes that will be present in the household that helps us in day to day activities, which knowingly or unknowingly we are doing. Okay, now first one is curd. Now, if you go ask your mom, why did she add one, say, one uh, half a glass or a small one spoon of curd in the milk? She will not tell you the scientific reason, but she will tell you that tomorrow this is going to become a curd. Now, you people know the scientific reason. What is the scientific reason? Presence of LAB or lactobacillus. Presence of lactobacillus in the curd that she added. No, one spoon of curd she would have added into uh, the freshly uh, heated boiled milk. That one spoon of curd will act as an inoculum will act as an inoculum. Now, tell me students, one spoon of curd that she had added, what does it have? It already has lactobacillus. It already has so many lactobacillus. Now, that lactobacillus is going to multiply and tomorrow your mom will be like, yes, curd is ready. Correct? Has your mom ever told her, oh, I'm going to make an inoculum, I'm going to add lactobacillus into the milk, tomorrow you're going to get curd? Never. She just tells normally, right? She'll be like, I'm going to make curd by taking whatever, whatever requirements. But this is the actual scientific reason because the inoculum will have a good amount of lactobacillus and that lactobacillus will multiply and convert the milk to curd, right? Yeah, no parents will tell. Okay, no parents will tell. Students, inoculum is like, what do you say? It is basically something to uh, ferment, right? To start the process, start the process. Okay, that is your inoculum. So, you only have to uh, learn the term inoculum. Yes. Now, look here. Second one is cheese. Okay, second one is your cheese. Cheese, uh, what is going to happen? So, this all thing, this is fully in one para. Okay. Now, cheese, Swiss cheese, which is made up of your propionium bacterium. Swiss cheese. Okay, Swiss cheese is made up of your propionium bacterium. And we have Roquefort cheese, which is made up of your pencilium. Pencilium. Now, all these names you have to remember by yourself. You have to remember by yourself. There is no uh, phonics. There is no easy shortcuts or anything. You have to remember. Okay. Swiss cheese and Roquefort cheese. Swiss cheese which is made up of your propionium bacterium and we have Roquefort cheese which is made up of your pencilium. So, students, cheese also it depends on their um, 
texture, smell and uh, the pores present on it. Now, if you see Tom and Jerry, you will always see one bar of cheese, right? Always in Tom and Jerry, they use this bar of cheese, right? Is this the ch same cheese that you get to buy? How many of you have bought the same cheese that Tom and Jerry is eating? Tell me quickly. Yes. You people have bought. Wow. How many of you have bought the same cheese that Tom and Jerry was eating? Seriously, you people bought this cheese? That's nice. Okay, I have not seen. Okay, I have only bought sliced cheese. What is that? Uh, you know, the shredded cheese and all that, right? <laughs> so, people who have bought it, great, great. Okay, I don't know from where you bought, people bought it. Now, students, that means what? This cheese is different because the texture is different. The number of pores will be different. You can see so many pores on that, right? So many pores on that. I hope this is how it looks like cheese, right? So many pores on that. So, understand one thing. Cheese, depending on the texture, depending on the pore, depending on the smell, all of it, the fermentation process or the use of microbes will be different. Okay, very important like, very important like. <laughs> okay, so then students, dosa idli. Dosa idli, most of the confusion all of you will have is, oh, we'll be adding yeast to it, right? Yeast to it. No. Dosa idli is made up of your Luko Nostok. Now, don't think this Nostok is the Nostok we studied there. No. The one that does nitrogen fixation? No. This is a different Nostok and Streptococcus. Now, students, this page is very important because I will tell you why. In uh, NEAT, they are going to give a match to the following or they will give mismatch and you will you'll have to identify the correct and wrong. You will have to identify the correct and wrong. Okay. So, this page as it is, please try to learn. Yes, next one, dosa idli is luco, nostoc and streptococcus and then we have Greek yogurt. Nowadays, it's too fancy, right? Greek yogurt, mango yogurt, flavored, different types of flavored yogurt. Now, how does, how does it, how is it made up of, how is it made up of lactobacillus only? Our normal curd is changing, that is lactobacillus and we have streptococcus, okay? Now, bread and yeast, bread and yeast, you can also, we also call the yeast as baker's yeast. Baker's yeast. If you have ever bought yeast, the packet on the top, you can see on the box, it will be written Baker's yeast. Okay. That is your <coughs> Saccharomyces cerviaceae. Okay. Students have not underlined, but I hope you understood, right? It's a, it all has to be underlined. Now, students, toddy. This is the image. How many of you have seen toddy making? Toddy making. If you go specially, if you go specially to Kerala side, right? If you go to the South Indian, that's that's your. If you go to Kerala side, you can see this kind of pots will be hung everywhere. But this will be done mainly on the coconut trees. But then palm vine. This is also your toddy will be known as palm vine, right? Yes. Oh, Trisha has seen. Very good. So students, what do they do? This is natural way of fermentation. That means toddy will be formed from the sap of wine. Okay, sap of palm. Okay, sap of palm, and. Uh, what they will do after like few days, they will just uh, maybe like a day or two, they will leave the spot there and they will go collect it and within that time only, they will freshly serve it. They will not keep it for 2-3 days because this is naturally fermented. So, because of natural fermentation, it will get spoiled very fast. Yes, yes, correct. Oh, most of you have seen, huh? Telugu states also is famous. Okay, I didn't know that. Thank you. Telugu states also is common because uh, we see it very commonly, you know, in Kerala, wherever there is a coconut tree, there will be one kind of a pot hanging there. So, that is your toddy. Okay. So, it is made up of fermentation of sap of uh, palm and the palm used will be cryota palm. Okay, cryota palm. Students, this notes I will give you. Yesterday, C3 and C4 cycle, I have posted it on Telegram. Today, this notes also I will give you. Okay. Yes, let's see what your NCRT says. So, you would be surprised to know that we use microbes or the products of microbes every day in our life. Exactly. Now, because you are a uh, science student. Uh, Trisha, don't worry, I will give it on Telegram. Why are you taking screenshot? I will give it on Telegram. Just download the notes. Isn't downloading easy? Don't worry, I will give it on... Uh, Special, I will give it on Telegram and also I will post it on the community page on my special class. Okay. Students, I have also posted some notes on the community page of the uh, my special class that is your 
on the app so do not forget to go check it out cell division i've posted frog i've posted so go and check it out and also i'll be posting animal kingdom the whole thing and uh, we will also be doing some uh, marathons this week where i will be taking all one shot video because some students have requested for molecular basis of inheritance one shot that i'll be doing i'll also be doing photosynthesis one shot i'll also be doing animal kingdom one shot with very very funny phonics okay my students who have attended uh, you wanted to be converted to pdf yeah i can do that i'll do that and send it to you people okay don't worry so students see i am taking whatever you people are saying okay but i do not see that response in the class if you people tell ma'am we want pdf we are giving you pdf ma'am if you tell ma'am we want notes we are doing it but i do not see that energy or that continuation or consistency in i see it in very like maybe i can countably say 6 7 students i see every day on a daily basis i see the names so students when we are doing everything that you need what you have to do is to be consistent with us and be a part of this journey okay this is a journey for both of us and if you people are like oh once i'll come to uh, no need this topic i've done again no how many ever time you do it is a revision for you how many ever teachers have done it for you it is still a revision for you every time a teacher teach maybe some concept that another teacher taught may, might not have been that clear for you but when you listen to the next teacher or when you're listening to another teacher that concept might be clear to you okay so do not hesitate even if you know even if you feel 100% overconfident that i know this chapter i did not have to study students there will be one or two points that maybe some teacher will pick okay yes very good so always be humble how much ever you know always learn more okay learn more it is never going to be a waste never going to be a waste because education will show you the way trust me on this okay now um, lecture is over now we'll see students so microorganisms such as lactobacillus which is your lab lactic acid bacteria grow in milk that convert to curd okay during growth the lab produces acids now what is going to happen the process they are telling lab will produce acids that will coagulate and partially digest the milk protein what is the milk protein do any any of you know the milk protein okay it will coagulate and partially yes very good that is the uh, that is the way it should be okay that is the way it should be that every day you learn something okay so it is your casein right your milk protein that is your casein a small amount of curd added to the fresh milk as an inoculum or a starter right inoculum or a starter in case you forget the word inoculum you will never forget the word starter right so write the word starter and it is going to convert it into milk to curd now students those who are vegetarian purely vegetarian and uh, they what happens is your b12 is mainly consumed from meat right that is your animal uh, flesh now what happens people who do not consume uh, you know non veg it is very very necessary for you it is very very necessary for you to take curd okay to add curd in your diet because the vitamin b12 that we get is from the curd otherwise it's from the non veg right that is your uh, meat now if you don't eat or if you don't preferably eat any of it it is very very important that at least you take you know one um, good amount of curd every day okay yes thank you malik okay so b12 do not forget to take your curd and add it in your diet okay so next time you are eating curd you should tell mom i am feeding myself with uh, vitamin b12 and lactobacillus has done the job she is going to probably throw you out of the class, uh, home but uh, it's okay you can keep uh, repeating the terms right so okay so students here what are we talking about we are talking about your uh, how is the bread preparation and all that we know it is prepared of yeast so here you can see saccharomyces cerevisiae and here what is happening carbon dioxide gas will be released which re uh, which makes the bread fluffy okay which makes the bread fluffy one minute yes which makes the bread fluffy and where do you think where do you think the bacteria for this fermentation comes from and uh, students one thing about your ncert is they'll keep asking you question every 2 minutes okay they'll be like where do you think it co it's coming from how is it coming from will, did you like uh, do you think this will happen and all that so you do not have to care about those questions just make sure that you know know what is happening okay because 
so many questions if they ask who will not get confused now students toddy we just did with toddy so toddy is made by fermenting sap from your palms now what is going to happen the microbes can also use to ferment fish soya bean and bamboo students very very common nowadays it's become very fancy because of the korean trend your soya bean can also form your tofu how many of you have heard about tofu most of the people are replacing your paneer with tofu right very very healthy it has become because of uh, your uh, what to tell the korean uh, you know trend people started cooking tofu and all that right so this tofu this fermenting fish and soya bean can uh, can form tofu and also bamboo that means what are they trying to say microbes can be used for fermentation of all of this okay now students this is a very important sentence different varieties of cheese are known by their characteristic texture flavor and taste okay this is what i told you about the texture okay texture is very important in cheese so depending on what type of texture it is the microorganisms uh, uh, is going to change okay now for example the large holes in swiss cheese right the large holes in swiss cheese is by your um, propionium bacteria and your roquefort cheese is by roquefort cheese tell me quickly what is your roquefort cheese made up of just now we did p p is the tell me p is the clue pen quick quick Yes, very good. Who answered it? Sanvi. Very good, Sanvi. Penicillium. There are some uh, people who are uh, spamming in between because of which most of them are not able to type. So, students, I would like all of you to avoid any kind of you know conversation that you want to have with your friends because this is high tech. So here we have WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So please use any of this medium other than live chats. Okay, it is very funny of you to text your friend through live chat. Please deal with it personally. I do not want the students who are studying to lose track of what I am asking and what is happening in the chat box. Okay, good, good job on that. Now students. very very important your industrial that means microbes used in industry first very important thing is alcohol right interesting no very interesting alcohol now your alcohol can be of two types okay your distilled and your non distilled So students, distilled and non-distilled will be your two types of alcohol. Okay. So under distilled alcohol, we will have lot varieties. Now under non-distilled alcohol, the most common ones are your wine and your beer. Okay. Wine and your beer. Okay. Under distilled, you will have so many of them: your vodka, uh, whiskey, rum. brandy did i miss anything vodka whiskey rum brandy gin so students this comes under your yeah whiskey brandy <laughs> so much activeness is coming in the chat box right yes so <laughs> so much energy ha huh, very good ha huh. Yes, very good. In me, watch your recorded sessions. It will really, really help you. Okay, students. So we have non-distilled and distilled. So both of this, the fermentation here, the fermentation. That means non-distilled. The fermentation is not going to be at this rate. Okay, this is going to be comparatively less. Right? That is the reason why here the alcohol percentage also will be really, really less. So in your um, Beer, it will be somewhere around three to six percent of alcohol. Here, it will be I think nine to eleven percent of your alcohol. Okay, somewhere in this range is you where your percentages will lie of alcohol. But here, you know that when these drinks are consumed, okay, the amount of alcohol is very very strong. Okay, very very strong. So these are distilled one. These are non-distilled one. Now both of them will be okay. both of them ignored okay what are we people are telling them both of them will be fermented okay so this is one of the very very important process of your industrial use of microbes and you know how much is the consumption of alcohol and what is the you know uh, 
I'm telling it has become a trend, right? It's become a trend. It has become a lifestyle now. So, microbes do actually the you know large amount of economical use for humans. Yes, yes, nine three to six percent and uh, nine to eleven percent. Yes, okay. So, what is your uh, alcohol? Alcohol is made up of what kind of uh, you know who is doing the job? Brewers yeast. Students, why do you think uh, most of the places have co been called brewery and all that, right? Brewers yeast. So again, your Saccharomyces uh, cerevisiae only is going to do the job here. Also, it is going to do the job of fermentation. Okay. Now, very very important thing. We are going to get into antibiotics. Now, students, when we talk about antibiotics, tell me the first name that you remember. First name that you remember. Tell me first name that you remember. When we talk about you know, uh, antibiotics, tell me the first name that you remember. Yes, very good, very good. Pencilium, right? That is one thing that we have studied all through our life about pencilium. So, students, this pencilium was found by Alexander Fleming. What did he do when he was actually doing something else? Okay, he was using another bacteria and he was working on it. He understood that on the plate, right, on the uh, plate that he was using, <coughs> he found that in one area, the, uh, the bacteria wasn't growing or the microbes weren't growing. Okay, so he got a doubt like why it's happening because the whole petri plate was unclean. You know that whenever we are using something in the lab, we have to always sterilize it. We have to always use alcohol, wipe it, okay, and keep it in a hot air oven. We have to do a lot of things, okay. Now, he noticed that only in one area, the uh, bacteria or the microbes is being getting eaten up, okay, eaten up. That is when he didn't know it was an antibiotic. He didn't know actually it was pencilium or something. So, he was like, okay, this should be something to do with eating the microbes okay so that is when he came up with your pencilium now pencilium was actually you know um, found that oh this has a very good it is a very good antibiotic it is a good very good antibiotic by two other scientists are you all with me yes alexander fleming very good correct yeah so this this was actually by fluke right this was actually by fluke that he tried to uh, find out a he tried to find out pencilium as an antibiotic so very uh, students very clearly have to understand he was not working on pencilium he was not working on pencilium he while doing some work he un he saw the petri plate that was uncleaned he saw something growing and he also saw that this microbes was getting eaten. So, there was he was able to see one clear zone of inhibition, clear zone of inhibition. Now, what is going to happen? What is actually happening here? What is actually happening here? Can you tell me? Students, we have studied this in, uh, you know, biomolecules. Now, So, what is pencilium actually doing? It was trying to eat the microbes or it was trying to inhibit their activity, inhibit their activity and the actual uh, finding that uh, your pencilium is a good antibiotic was by Chain and Flore. Okay, Chain and Flore was the person who, okay, yes, not sterile accidentally. That's all. If you don't sterile, maybe you would have become a scientist, but what to do? we didn't become okay so students it was actually found by chain and flore that antibiotic this uh, pencilium is a very good antibiotic okay now look here yes we'll finish this and come to that okay we'll finish this and come to that so here see uh, pencilium was the first antibiotic to be discovered and it was a chance discovery okay it was by chance it was not by you know he didn't have a plan key okay i will find this no he, it came by chance so alexander fleming very important students alexander fleming while working on your staphylococci since what is the uh, shape of this bacteria staphylococci what will be the shape of the bacteria tell me quickly why are there no likes for the session why are there no likes to the session? I am preparing so much and I'm trying to explain it to you. What is the only thing that you people have to do? You have to show me your love. And how will you show me your love? By liking, by commenting on the session, right? Is there anything else that I'm asking from any of you? Yes or no? 
So quickly like the session, quickly like the session. If likes are not there, then we will not proceed. We will not proceed. <laughs> okay, quick. I want full likes, full likes. Yes, okay. Yes, so very good. I liked. Okay, so uh, Staphylococci bacteria that this this shape is spherical in shape or cocos in shape. And now what did he observe? He saw that a mold growing in one of his unwashed culture culture plates around which the Staphylococci could not grow. That means what? There was a mold that was growing. There was a fungi that was growing, but around that, the Staphylococcus was not able to grow. That means what? This fungi was actually eating up the microbes and not allowing the bacteria to grow. Okay, and then he came to a finding of your pencilium. However, to his full potential, he did not understand that this pencilium was a very good antibiotic. Then. Ernest Chain, okay, Ernest Chain and Flore, they came up, they came up and found out that your penicillium is a very, very good antibiotic, okay, antibiotic. Now, students, this is very, very important according to your needs. Last, I think 2017 also one question was asked, I think last year also one question was asked about the match the following match the following that means they are going to say give swiss cheese and they will write some other bacterium instead of uh, propioni bacterium or they will put uh, rock fruit um, and they will put something else so like that they will ask you to mismatch ok ok so look here propioni bacterium was uh, forming it, it what was released during the uh, when this uh, thing is happening that means when fermentation is happening when fermentation is happening, what was happening actually? The propioni bacterium was releasing carbon dioxide and propionic acid to form the Swiss cheese. Okay. Then we have Aspergillus, lactose, uh, Lactobacillus and Streptococcus which is going to form your cheddar cheese, yogurt, soya sauce. Soya sauce students, soya sauce. Next time you buy soya sauce, you will be like, oh, just give me something that is fermented by your Streptococcus. Okay. <laughs> to the shopkeeper. Is he going to give you soya sauce? Yes, yes, Sharmani was also there. That name sounds like a person's name, so I'm like, it, uh, it will, it sounds so. Students, so next time you're going to the shopkeeper and you're going to ask, give me something that is fermented by lactobacillus. Are you going to ask? Yes or no? Yes or no? Are you going to get anything after asking like that to the shopkeeper? <laughs> exactly. He will throw you. And he will throw all the terminologies that you have come up outside, right? You are not going to get anything. Yes, all are pyruvic acid derivatives. All that means your glucose gets converted to pyruvic acid. No, all of it is your pyruvic acid derivatives. Okay, <laughs> he will slap. He shouldn't slap and all. Okay, that time you can show my video and tell ma'am told like this. Okay, but uh, yeah, you can give it a try. So, uh, students, so Aspergillus, Lactobacillus and Streptococcus, Lactic Acid. Now, Saccharomyces or your Baker's Yeast. Students, 4 marks you will get from this question. 4 marks. So, do not ignore this. So, what will happen? We will form the wine, beer and also we will form bread, right? We will also form bread. Here, you have Clostridium. Clostridium is your um, used in nail polish removers that is your uh, and rubbing alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Are you all with me? Are you all with me? <laughs> Are you all with me? You will get your butyric acid here. Okay, we will get your butyric acid, butyric acid. So, here your Clostridium. Okay, clostridium, acetone or isopropanol will be released that will give nail polish that is used in nail polish remover and rubbing alcohol. Students, then you have your acetobacter and E. coli, right? So, this will be used for the formation of acetic acid. So, acetobacter aceti, that is the name. So, from that only you can tell acetic acid, okay, acetic acid or your vinegar. You can also see in some places they will even write uh, citric acid, okay, citric acid. Is this clear? Is this box clear? Yes, Clostridium butelium. Clostridium butelium, lactic acid, your lactic acid bacteria, acetobacter, acetobacter, acetai. Okay. Yes. Are we clear on this? All of you? All of you? Yes. 
so citric acid you can add here students aspergillus aspergillus okay aspergillus can you see it yes aspergillus so this is your box which can fetch you up to four marks which can fetch you up to four marks okay this we just did yeah this side and add that's why i've added the snip here so students aspergillus nigger a fungus which will form your citric acid acetobacter acetai which will form your acetic acid okay and so this is basically formation of your organic acids this question was asked as a match the following so please learn this thoroughly do not take it for granted and be like oh no i will remember you will not remember okay clostridium butylium a bacterium which is used uh, for the formation of butyric acid that is again used for uh, in nail polish removers girls who have used your nail polish remover you will know that it is, has a very strong alcoholic smell like in the sense it will be like uh, when you are entering a lab you will get that ethanol smell no? it will be similar to that okay and then we have lactobacillus a bacterium for formation of lactic acid okay lactic acid yes are we clear on this are we clear on this now here again your yeast is used now from here students this first sentence no from here it is important that is the formation your detergents that is use of this microbes in the uh, industries that is use of it in as detergents okay now understand why do we use detergents to basically remove your oil stains right to remove your oil stains because you know just by rubbing it with water what is go going to happen hydrophobic and hydrophilic reaction that means you remember when you studied i think you would have studied in your cbse 10th standard it you have seen that missiles missiles right that means which are this water is going to move away the oil is not going to be removed for that we need a soap or we need something called as a soaping agent which will attract the oil and remove it okay now what that that job will be done by our enzymes okay lipase lipase will do that job okay so what am i trying to say i am trying to say that detergent will be used by an enzyme <coughs> lipase that will lipase that will remove the oil right remove the oil now oil is form of lipid so to remove that also we will be using lipase okay for oil removal oil removal okay students very very important detergent we use an enzyme called lipase that will do the job of oil removal okay so this is uh, see here it is written a detergent formulation that are helpful in removing oil stains now students one more thing very importantly now most of you drink this tropicano you know um sting and all that you drink no nowadays now do you when you drink do you feel like you are uh, you know biting a pulp or you are biting a fiber but at the same time if your mom buys a fruit and you know uh, does a normal like your regular juice at home and give you you will find that there are a lot of fibers there are a lot of you know uh, tanginess there is a lot of uh, pulp that is there but when you buy it from the shop you will not see any of this that is because they are using something called as clarifying agent okay they are using something called as i'll write it outside then okay i'll write it here they are using something called as your clarifying agent clarifying agent that will be used is the protease that means they they will use this clarifying agent to clarify the fruit so that you are getting a water feel you feel like you are drinking a colored water or a sugary substance you will not feel the you know like fibers getting in and all that right so this clarifying job this clarifying job also is done by enzymes like protease okay now understand here you can see you have noticed that the bottle fruit juices from the market are clearer as compared to that made in home okay now <clears throat> this is because of the bottle juices that are clarified with pectinases and proteases pectinases and proteases streptokinase produced by bacterium streptococcus and modified by genetic engineering is used as clot buster now i'll explain you this but is this clear 
is this your clear who is used so very clearly students we will revise it quickly detergent in detergent we have an enzyme called lipase that will do the job of removing the oil from the cloths okay so we use it for our laundry now we have the second thing that is used as a clarifying agent and the enzymes used are pectinase and protease now these are also made with our bacterium that is why we are studying we are, this is also made with our microorganisms okay now that is used to give us a more clearer feel to drinking that means when we are drinking juices to give that clear uh, clarity of drinking or not feeling like oh it's just a water okay then the second or the very very important thing is whenever a person is come rushing to the hospital right when it rushes to the hospital the the reason for him to have a heart attack or you know the starting stage of heart attack is because of the presence of fat right the presence of Uh, fat on his um, blood vessels, right? Now, what is what will the doctor do first? Itself, he will give him he give him an injection, which will burst the clot. There is a clot. That clot has to be removed. If the clot is not removed, he is going to lead to heart attack. So the, immediately, the doctor is going to give him an injection, and that injection is called as the clot buster. So who behaves as the clot buster? Your streptokinase will behave as a clot. clot buster very very important please make a note now itself in your ncert streptococcus will behave as a clot buster which is formed from the bacterium streptococcus streptococcus okay that is modified that means students this is the uh, say it's not a raw thing that is released by the streptococcus but it is also genetically engineered with some more uh, things and then it is proved that it it acts like a clot buster okay for removing the clots from the blood vessels very very important for the patient who has undergone a myocardial infarction leading to an heart attack okay got it all of you clear clear yes streptokinase is an enzyme streptokinase is an enzyme lipase is an enzyme pectinase is an enzyme protease is an enzyme all of this are uh we have derived it from our bacterium but you do not have to know the name of the microbes or you do not have to get into the details so only this you have to remember the enzymes you have to remember the jobs or the functions has to be remembered yes yes good job okay now <clears throat> now one more thing which is used as very very commonly nowadays is because most of our life habits or most of our living habits have come to such a situation where cholesterol has become like um, like it's like i have hair okay cholesterol has become so common like i have cholesterol or even he has cholesterol she also has cholesterol it has become such a common thing that is because of our lifestyle that is because of the way we work way we live our life cholesterol has become such a common thing now to act like okay or to use it what to tell to release or to help inhibit inhibit the cholesterol causing cholesterol causing agent okay cholesterol causing agent we have we have statins okay statins i'll come to this but here look here statins which will do the job which will do the job of look here blood cholesterol lowering agent okay you can also say that they are going to do competitive inhibition i'll tell you students competitive inhibition do you people remember your enzyme substrate it will form the same sh shape of a substrate and come and do competitive inhibition substrate also will be there this thing also will be there now what is this going to do this this is going to go go and bind at the substrate position because it's going to take up the same shape as a enzyme like you know to fit in like a lock and key model all of you remember who did biomolecules with me yes good so it will do the job of competitive inhibition competitive inhibition very very important normally what happens enzyme plus enzyme plus substrate will give you enzyme product and then we will get enzyme plus product okay now what is going to happen your <coughs> your um, cholesterol is going to take up the substrate position it will take up the same shape and this is called an inhibitor so it will go and bind with the inhibitor not allowing ep formation happening okay it will basically stop it from happening okay stop it from happening <coughs> are you all understanding so far so far good
right ok. Now statins is released or produced by an yeast called monascus uh, purpuraceae. Monascus purpuraceae. So this is very important students. Monascus purpuraceae is the yeast that will form your uh, statins that will act as a competitive inhibitor. Now let us go to this thing. Now imagine, now imagine um, say Shiv Kumar is giving a, a kidney to Puneet. Okay, these are the names in your this. Shiv Kumar is giving a kidney to Puneet. Okay, now what is going to happen? Just because Shiv Kumar and Puneet are friends, that does not mean that the body will accept the kidney that is Shiv Kumar is giving. The body will act or look at the kidney that has been given as a foreign particle and they will release T cells, right? We, we, we will be studying B cells, T cells later, but if you have already studied, you know this, right? So, during organ transplantation or a graft being given to us, the graft will be rejected from our body because body does not care who is your friend. Body only cares about the organ that is coming in. So, at that situation, what we will do? We will give an immunosuppressive agent. That means, to suppress, to suppress the T cells from actually harming the graft that we have got. That job, that job is done by your cyclosporin A. That job is done by your cyclosporin A. So, cyclosporin will act as an immunosuppressive agent so that graft rejection does not happen and we can normally do your uh, organ transplantation or your graft transplantation. Got it all of you? Yes. So, just because uh, like I told you Shiva, Prasa, Shiva Kumar and uh, your uh, Puneet is friends, they are, the organs are not going to care or the body is not going to care. So, during this situation what will happen? It can also get very fatal that can it can lead to the death of a person. So, during this time the doctors will continuously be giving an immunosuppressive agent until, until the whole procedure happens because later it will the body will automatically start accepting it and be like oh this is also part of my body. Until that happens, this will be continuously given and that is done by your cyclosporin A. Cyclosporin A. Very important students, that is used as an immunosuppressive agent in organ transplant patients. Okay. All of you got it? Yes. Now, I want you people to tell me. So, here say we have this is for your note purpose, notes purpose, okay. Sorry, sorry. <coughs> I want to come this. Friends, immunosuppressive. Who is going to act as an immunosuppressive agent? <laughs> your cyclo sporin A, right? Yes, and then your statins, which is formed from an yeast call. Are you all with me? Are you all with me? Yes, very good. Okay, monask. Okay, that will that will be used or that will act like a cholesterol lowering agent, right? Cholesterol lowering agent by competitive inhibition, by competitive, students this word is very important, okay? Competitive inhibition. Yes, by competitive inhibition. Got it? Very good. Okay. So, yes. Are we good to go? Are we good to go? Okay, fine. Now, very, very important topic, students sewage treatment. Sewage treatment, important? Very important? So, sewage treatment can take place, okay, can take place mainly in three steps. Yes. Primary, 
secondary and tertiary. Okay, tertiary. Now, this other three methods, right? Uh, your STP, they uh, students, some places you can also see STP. Okay, so for your STP to happen, there is going to be a primary, there is going to be a secondary and tertiary. Now, what is your sewage treatment process? It is basically to clean your contaminated water, to clean the contaminated water and to make it useful for other purposes and also main main use of STP is so that we can discard or we can, you know, release this water into rivers, okay, or lakes with, without doing more contamination okay without doing more co contamination because you know this will be highly highly accumulated with organic matter this will be go going to be filled with waste materials right now to avoid that we are going to do this process by going through primary secondary and tertiary so that it will be you like it will not be that harmful to release into the rivers or lakes okay <coughs> now students primary method has also two again differentiation okay one is your um, one is your filtration sequential filtration and one is your sedimentation so what is basically going to happen now say this is up uh, your this one and here is your sewage water okay we are going to get so students this is the water okay this is your sewage water fine we are going to get some area where there is uh, say the water content which will be raised above and then we will go we are going to get some say uh, pebbles or some very uh, heavy organic matter which are going to settle down okay so in your primary in your primary um, you know uh, process you are going to have filtration and sedimentation there is your uh, sequential filtration and sedimentation that means basically going through the process right so in filtration what is going to happen we are going to get two uh, layers okay and two layers this first layer which you see the substance which is floating the substance which is floating right that floating is called your primary effluent primary effluent and what you see down the sediment that could be anything like your organic matter sand mud anything that one which is settling down okay is called your sludge what is settling down is called your sludge and what is floating is called your effluent okay so this will be your primary effluent this will be your primary students have put one not primary uh, sludge okay is this clear to all of you yes so in the first process we filtered it we got two separate uh, regions where we got an effluent which is the floating region and we got a sediment region or a settling region which is the sludge so this will be lighter lighter in weight and this is going to be the heavier particles this is going to be a heavier particle now during this uh, sedimentation process what is going to happen this is exactly what sedimentation also is going to do that means it's going to settle the heavier particles down and the lighter particles are going to come up okay now in this process in this process the effluent no the effluent is what we are going to uh, carry to the secondary process okay the effluent is what we are going to carry to the secondary process yes all of you are able to understand so far clear <clears throat> yes okay fine okay so students this effluent this uh, primary effluent is what i'm going to take into the secondary that means i have taken the primary effluent okay now let's see what's going to happen to the primary i'll erase this okay so in primary effluent situation in primary effluent situation, we have our tank, okay, we are going to have a tank and in the tank, we are going to have our primary effluent, only primary effluent, okay, the sediment we haven't taken, okay, primary effluent, 
So students, very very important. This tank is called your aeration tank. What is this tank called? Aeration tank. These names are very very important. These names are very important. If you do not know these names, then you do not know uh, sewage treatment also. So students, aeration tank. So we have taken our primary effluent is there inside this. Primary effluent is there inside this. Now into this aeration tank, we are going to add. We are going to add a mass of a mass of aerobic a mass of aerobic heterotrophic bacteria what did i say what did i say aerobic that means they need oxygen heterotrophic that means they feed on say it could be a uh, dead and decayed organisms heterotrophic students so what did what happened to this effluent, to this effluent, we added a mass, okay, we added a mass of aerobic heterotrophic bacteria. Now, what are they supposed to do? The aerobic bacteria will consume the oxygen. This heterotrophic means it is going to feed on the organic matter that is present in the effluent and this whole thing, this mass of aerobic bacteria is called your flux, okay, it's called your flux, F-L-O-C-S, okay flocks okay now what are they going to do they are going to do some process where it is going to help us to clean this primary effluent and we are going to get a better purified water now students one thing very important for you people is to understand your bod you would have studied this in your ecosystem bod biological oxygen demand that means if aerobic bacteria is there that means we need oxygen agreed all of you do we need oxygen if aerobic bacteria is there Yes or no? Yes or no? Quick. Yes. Okay. So, understand if the water is unclean. Okay. If the water is unclean. So, I am going to write it in this box, box so that we do not in, miss this information. Students, if the water, okay, water is unclean, that means BOD level will be high, BOD level will be more, all of you agreed, more uh, uh, organic matter if the water is unclean. If water is clean, that means BOD level will be low, BOD level will be low. All of you agree to this? Yes. Okay. So, if the water is unclean, the BOD level is going to be more. That means the biological oxygen demand is going to be more because there are so many organic matter, the aerobic bacteria is going to digest. So, when we talk about BOD, what does it mean? The aerobic bacteria requiring oxygen to consume the organic matter. Now, after this aerobic heterotrophic bacteria has been left here, the flocks have been left here for some time, automatically this tank will show BOD level less. Now, what can you understand if I write BOD level is less? Can any of you tell me what do you understand if I tell BOD level is less? What do you people understand from it? Yes, the water has got a little purified or the water has got cleaner from your first effluent, right? It has got better from the first effluent. Yes, correct. Okay, so the BOD, BOD has got less. That means your water has got a little cleaner. Okay, water is clean. Compared to your primary effluent, the water got clean. So, if a question is asked, when is the flux or when is the BOD level determined? Will you say is it in the primary stage or will you say it is in the secondary stage? Tell me, when will you tell if the what BOD level is? Yes, correct. Correct. Okay. So, you will tell that the water is clean or the BOD level decreased during the secondary process, during the secondary process. All of you got this? Yes, very good. Secondary process. <coughs> yes. 
now now students at this po uh, point okay at this point i can release this effluent right i can release this effluent but if i have to release that effluent that means i have to filter out this aerobic heterotrophic bacteria right for that to happen so say So students, this is how our aeration tank looked like, right? This is how our aeration tank looked. Now I can release this only if I remove this aerobic heterotrophic bacteria, right? So I have to get into the next step. I have to get into the next step where I have to wait for this bacteria to settle down and this bacteria will settle down in the bottom. What is settling down in the bottom? What is settling down in the bottom? So that means I got this is my can I call it secondary effluent? Can I call it secondary effluent? And I have to call this your bacterial sediments, right? Bacterial sediments. Yes, okay, I can call this secondary effluent, I can call this bacteria sediments. Now, I have to remove this bacteria, I have to remove this bacteria if I have to go into the tertiary process. That means, I want to use this water for drinking or I want to use this water for more uh, good purpose like say for uh, cleaning or uh, I mean cleaning the vessels or something like that. That means, I have to remove this, otherwise this is going to be harmful. For removing this, for removing this, I can use... I can take a small fraction of this. So, imagine students, this is your bacterial anaerobic bacteria, uh, heter uh, aerobic heterotrophic bacteria. I can take a small portion. Okay, I can take a small portion. And what can I do? I can take a very small portion and add it back, add it back into this aeration tank. I can add it back into the aeration tank so more filtration happen or if there is more effluent from my primary uh, from the primary process I can add that and I can use it as a flock agreed all of you yes or no the students BAH is your aerobic heter bacteria uh, I'll, I'll write only AH otherwise you will get confused oh sorry yes AH that is the aerobic bacteria. Okay, small portion I am going to use it back into the aeration tank which will do the job as flocks, right. Then the other small portion I have to kill it or remove it. For that I am going to use an anaerobic, anaerobic inoculation tank. I am going to add them to an anaerobic inocula inoculation tank. Are you all there? Yes, the activated sludge, correct. Okay, students, so this activated sludge, we have to call this, thank you for reminding. So, this is a activated sludge. So, whatever is settling down, right, whatever is settling down, we call it sludge, right. So, this is a sludge and this is in the active stage. So, this activated sludge, I have to separate it, small portion I have taken into aeration tank, small portion I have taken into um, anaerobic inoculation tank. Now tell me in anaerobic inoculation tank who will be there, who will be there? <coughs> I think in your, this one they have given sludge tank, so we will use that word only, sludge di digester, anaerobic sludge digesting digester. So, anaerobic sludge digesting is given in your, uh, yeah, sludge digester is given in your NCRT, we will use that. So, anaerobic sludge digester, that means in this who is going to be there? Anaerobic bacteria is going to be there, agreed or not, right? So, they will uh, clear the rest of it, they will clear the rest of the activated sludge. Is it clear to all of you? Is it clear to all of you? Anaerobic bacteria will feed on this aerobic heterotrophic bacteria and calm katam, right? So, the rest of it uh, will be removed. So, students use the word anaerobic sludge digester, do not use inoculation tag, okay? So, yes. <coughs> All of you are clear on this? All of you are clear on this? 
Yes or no? Quickly, let, let me know. Activated sludge. Yes. So, what has happened? What has happened? We are go we now this water will be useful for drinking. This water can be used for drinking. At this stage, you can uh, you can give it back to the rivers or lakes. That means you can uh, you know uh, dispose it to the rivers or lakes because we have reduced the harmful organic matters. But if you again want to go for the further process for your tertiary, that is your taking out the activated sludge using a small quantity again back for the aeration tank and a small quantity in an anaerobic sludge digester and then the water will be purified are you all clear on this clear on this no use the word activated sl uh, your anaerobic uh, di uh, sludge digester okay because the ncrt is very specific so you cannot use other terms so students can we do a quick revision of your sewage Treatment plant, yes or no? Yes, all of you are ready. I'll ask you a question, you people should answer. Clear? This will be your rapid fire also. Yes, okay, ready? Okay, fine. Okay. We'll start from the primary process. Tell me what are the three steps involved in your sewage uh, treatment plant? What are the three processes? Okay, very good. So, uh, three processes are primary, secondary, and tertiary. Yes. So, students in primary, what are the two other processes that is happening? Two other process. What are the two other processes that is happening in the primary? Quick, very good, Hanifa, Nanda, Priyanka, Shivkumar, Subhashni. So, it is your sequential filtration, filtration, and sedimentation, filtration and sedimentation. Correct? Yes. In filtration, what is going to happen? In filtration, what is going to happen? What are we going to get? Very good. Okay, very good. We are going to get our effluent. We are going to get a sludge. We are not going to get activated sludge. We are going to just get a sludge where the heavier particles are going to settle down. Right? Heavier particles are going to settle down. During sedimentation also, the sludge will completely get settled in the bottom. Right? In the bottom of the tank. Got it, all of you? Are you all with me? Yes. Now, tell me which is the tank that we are using in uh, secondary? Which is the tank that we are using in secondary? Quick. By then, I will just... Uh, which is the tank that we are using? Students, I am writing this uh, for your notes, okay? Note purpose. Yes. Very good. Aeration tank, okay? So, we are going to use aeration tank. Students, into the aeration tank, what are we going to add? We are going to add our primary effluent right we are going to add our primary effluent into the primary effluent what are we adding into the primary effluent what are we adding <coughs> tell me quickly primary effluent what are we adding to the primary nandini very good okay we are going to add our aerobic we are going to add our aerobic heterotrophic heterotrophic 
bacteria which is called as phlox. It's called as phlox. Right? Yes, very good. We are going to add a phlox. Now, what is this phlox going to do? It is going to clear the water. Right? How are we going to know if it's going to clear the water or not? Quickly, let me know. Very good. Phlox. How are we going to know if this is clearing the water or not? Yes, very good. Reduces the BOD level. So, the BOD level will reduce. Right? The BOD level will reduce. Yes, the BOD level will reduce. That means the water has got purified. Purified. Okay, and now this water can be left into rivers or lakes, right? This water can be disposed into rivers or lakes. Now, but we wanted to use for drinking. So, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Here students, in the tertiary, what is the two process? We have to remove this aerobic or we have to remove this phlox, right? So, for that, we are going to take a, let's draw this here in this corner, right? We are going to take our effluent, that is your secondary effluent, okay? And this aerobic bacteria are going to uh, settle down and what do we call them? What do we call them? Tell me quickly. Very good. Activated sludge. Okay. So, here we are going to take our secondary effluent. Okay. With the phlox. And we are going to get, we are going to get, I will write one arrow. No? Yes. We are going to get our activated sludge activate activated sludge that will be again broken down so tell me quickly that will be broken down to small portion will be used up for the aeration tank and rest of it will be used or added into an aerobic, an aerobic, yes, good digester, sludge digester. Yes, can all of you see till there? So, this is your whole sewage treatment process, whole sewage treatment process, okay. After this, we can use this water for drinking, right? We can use this water for drinking. <coughs> Students, if you study this, this is more than enough. This flowchart is more than enough. Right? Are we done? Oh, students, one very, very important thing. Here your activated sludge, no? Activated sludge will be used, right? By anaerobic uh, sludge digester. That job will be done by special bacteria that is called your methanogens. Methanogens, your RK bacteria, and at the end, it is going to produce your methane gas or your biogas. Students, the aerobic sludge digester, right? The aerobic sludge digester, okay, here, I'll write it here. Aerobic sludge digester will be, uh, in that we will have your methanogens, methanogens that will produce methane gas and we will also have our RK bacteria, okay, and at the end they will form biogas. So, here what is happening? We are cleaning the sewage as well as we are cleaning the sewage as well as we are also yielding biogas. Is this clear to all of you? Is this clear to all of you? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Full thing is clear. Whatever we taught till here. Yes. Yes. Okay. All of you ready for rapid fire? Ready for rapid fire? Students and one more thing, 
when I suddenly look, I'll remember your uh, gap and yap. Okay, your gap and yap. That is your uh, to clean your Ganga and Yamuna. It is just a word. Okay, gap and yap. Okay, this is used to clean your Ganga, and this was used to clean your Yamuna. Okay, they actually. Uh, they used this uh, sewage treatment plant to clean your Ganga and Yamuna because of the accumulation of organic matter, because of so many rituals that was followed during, uh, you know, in the past, the accumulation of organic matter was too much, okay. Because of that, they used, uh, they did a, uh, they did two uh, projects, one is called your Gap and one is called your Yap. Gap is to clean the Ganga, Yap is to clean the Yamuna. It is given in a small uh, box, I mean, it is given as a small uh, portion in your NCRT. Clear to all of you? Yes, got it? Yes, okay. Yes, Ganga action plan and Yamuna action plan. Okay, ready for uh, rapid fire? All of you? Yes? Students, so this flow chart, where is this? Yeah, this flow chart is more than enough, okay? This flow chart is more than enough. Yes, rapid fire. If you're ready for the rapid fire, show me some fire emoji, add some fire emoji. And also after this, you can go and eat yummy yummy food and be with your family because the class is going to end. So show me the full josh. Yes. Others? Yes. Very good. This is the response I expect every single day. Okay. Where you people are every other day? Yes. Great. All of you. All of you reply. All of you reply. Yes, dear. We can connect via telegram. Yes. Great. Okay. Wow. Today the Josh is more students. Why? Why is the Josh more? Because all of you are going to... Uh, all of you are... Uh, yeah, today is leave. That is why the Josh. Huh? Okay, fine. Yes, after this is uh, leave for me also, for you also. <laughs> okay, fine. Yes. Oh, so many things motivating you people. Huh? Yummy food, everything. Right? Right? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's start. The rapid fire ready. I want very, very attentive students. Okay, I have made the questions actually. So, that I do not forget the questions. Okay. Yes, one second. I will, uh, I can see. One second, students. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, I have prepared a question, so we will go. First question. What is, what is the microbe used for dosa and idli? Being South Indians, this should be the first question. Dosa and idli, what is the microbe used? Unacademy need English channel. I have, I didn't make my own telegram, I'll make it, okay? Why are, why, why is your name so depressing? What is it, pandemic YouTube? You can crack neat, you can crack neat. Why you can't crack neat? Why you can't crack neat? Tell me one reason why you can't. Wow, so many answers. Streptococcus and... Leuconostoc, right? Very, very good. Yes, second question. Ready for the second question? What is the bacteria present in anaerobic sludge dig digester? Anaerobic sludge digester. What is the bacteria that are present? Anaerobic, who answered first? Uh, Nandini. Methanogens. Very good. Nandini, Vashini, Sanvi. Very good. Methan methanogens. Methanogens and one more I told you. One more. RK. Can any of you put that? No. Uh? 
हार के बैक्टीरिया यस आर के बैक्टीरिया वेरी गुड आर के बैक्टीरिया प्रियंका गुड जॉब यस ज्योति गुड जॉब शिव कुमार गुड जॉब ऑल ऑफ यू गुड जॉब ओके नेक्स्ट थर्ड क्वेश्चन थर्ड क्वेश्चन रेडी फॉर द थर्ड क्वेश्चन लेट मी आल्सो सी ओके सिट्रिक एसिड सिट्रिक एसिड फॉर्मेशन सिट्रिक एसिड व्हाट इज द बैक्टीरिया सिट्रिक एसिड व्हाट इज द बैक्टीरिया सिट्रिक एसिड व्हाट इज द बैक्टीरिया दैट विल बी यूज्ड टेल मी सॉरी व्हाट इज द फंगाई दैट विल बी यूज्ड नॉट बैक्टीरिया फंगाई 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 दैट विल बी यूज्ड सिट्रिक एसिड सिट्रिक एसिड सिट्रिक एसिड नॉट एसिडिक एसिड सिट्रिक एसिड विनेगर एसिडिक एसिड इज सेपरेट सिट्रिक एसिड इज सेपरेट ओ शिव कुमार गुड जॉब शिव कुमार वर्षनी गुड जॉब गोविंद गुड जॉब ओ सोना फुल फॉन्ट एंड ऑल शी इज यूज सो वी शुड रेस्पेक्ट सोना यस वेरी गुड As per Gilles Niger, yes, yes, very good, very good. Then, then, hmm, let me find a question. The amount of alcohol present in wine. The amount of alcohol present in wine. Let's see who is the first one to answer. The amount of alcohol present in wine. Oh, Priyanka, Shiv Kumar, Nandini. Nine to eleven percent. Oh, wow. Nine to pandemic, nine to one percent. Raj, one percent is extra. Nine and eleven percent. Hanifa, nine to eleven percent. That means it can be ten also, nine point five also, ten point five also. ओके, यस, नाइन, ओके, नाइन बार लेवन, ओके, फाइन, स्टूडेंट्स, नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन, लास्ट रैपिड फायर क्वेश्चन, लास्ट रैपिड फायर क्वेश्चन, ओके, बीओडी, बीओडी इज इन्वर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू डैश, बीओडी इज इन्वर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू डैश, बीओडी इज इन्वर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू Inversely proportional to BOD is inversely proportional to. Ha, you are almost Hanifa. You are almost ha Sanvik. Almost there. Uncle, okay. Students, can we tell purity? Can we tell purity? You people are almost there, but purity is the word. Okay, purity. You cannot tell clean water, unclean water. So BOD is inversely proportional to purity. Got it? Purity. Yes, yes. You all were trying to tell organic matter. I understood. Good job. Okay, then did I miss any question? Ha! Huh, I'll give two more questions. Yeah, because this chapter more questions are there. Oh no, more questions are there. I'll give it here. Okay, students, which is the cholesterol lowering agent? cholesterol lowering agent cholesterol lowering agent this is the cholesterol lowering agent very good nandini very good pandemic yaar how will i tell pandemic that word is so that word you people put such names which i cannot answer shivakumar shivakumar wrong shivakumar wrong statins very good very good there's so much Josh in today's class. Okay, I'm thinking. Okay, I'm thinking. I'll tell you now. Okay, students, what is the mechanism that statins do? Statins do. What is the mechanism that have statins do? Tell me, what is the mechanism statins do to stop this? To stop this? No problem. What is the mechanism to stop? 
हाँ वेरी गुड गोविंद सानवी गुज्जा नंदिनी शिव कुमार नो नंदिनी संध्या गुज्जा नंदना कुमार गुज्जा राइट कॉम्पिटेटिव इनहिबिशन कॉम्पिटेटिव इनहिबिशन राइट कॉम्पिटेटिव इनहिबिशन नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रेडी फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द एन एरोबिक नो एरोबिक हेट्रोट्रॉफिक बैक्टीरिया कॉल टूगेदर एरोबिक हेट्रोट्रॉफिक बैक्टीरिया कॉल टूगेदर सो आई एम राइटिंग शॉर्ट फॉर्म ओके बिकॉज आई कैन नॉट राइट द फुल इट विल टेक सो मच टाइम वाओ नंदनी गुड जॉब गुड जॉब शिव कुमार गुड जॉब सानवी सुभाषनी राज गुड जॉब फ्लॉक्स फ्लॉक्स राइट यस students don't worry if i don't call your names i'm looking at your names i'm reading all your names okay so i will see okay yes next question next question yes what is the one that forms lactic acid lactic acid what is the bacteria that forms lactic acid lactic acid harish okay harish i'll call you harish वेरी गुड लैक्टो बैसेलस लैक्टो बैसेलस राइट लैक्टो बैसेलस दैट विल फॉर्म योर एल ए बी नाउ नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन रेडी नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन रेडी राइट रेडी ऑल ऑफ यू वॉट इज एन इम्यूनो सप्रेसिंग एजेंट इम्यूनो सप्रेसिंग एजेंट टोल फर्स्ट हरीश नंदिनी अश्विन सानवी गुड जॉब शिव कुमार प्रियंका ओ वाव ऑल ऑफ यू आर इन द सेम स्पीड हाउ आई इवन कॉल योर नेम्स ओके वॉट इज द आंसर वॉट इज द आंसर साइक्लोस्पोर इन ए गुड जॉब वेरी वेरी गुड जॉब सिंस वॉट इज द वेराइटी ऑफ पाम वेर टॉडी इज फॉर्म What is that variety of palm where toddy is formed? It's a very simple name. Toddy is formed in one palm, one special palm. I told you starts with C. Let us see. Starts with letter C. Sap, distill, non-distilled. Okay, okay. Ha, Govin got it right. Carryota palm, carryota palm, right? Carry, carryota palm. Good job, Govind. Good job, carryota. Okay, Malik told after that Hanifa told carryota palm. Very good. Okay, good job. Whoever answered it. Okay, so we have done ten questions of your rapid fire. Do you feel confident that you can remember all of it? Yes or no? Yes or no? Are you feeling confident? Hi, students. I'm going to call your name. What I see, okay? I cannot keep calling, changing your names according to what you people tell. Yeah, streptokinase is a clot buster. Yes, students. Are you all feeling confident? Yes or no? Let me know quickly. Are you feeling confident? Are you feeling like okay? I can study this chapter because we have very small portion left. We have very small portion left. Okay, students. Every day my class will be there. Tomorrow you are going to have molecular basis of inheritance. One shot. Okay, one shot. We were going to do at one full stretch. We are going to study all the procedures, all the important topics. So will you all be there? Will you all be there? Yes. Tomorrow, can I see all this crowd tomorrow for molecular basis of inheritance? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Today, ah, uh, one special class will happen. Okay. Ah, uh, but uh, because today is a celebration day, I don't know 
what is the number of students that will be there so we will see today or tomorrow definitely a special class will be there do not worry okay do not worry on youtube molecular basis of inheritance will be on youtube okay i have already done it on special class now here it will be on youtube great will i will i no here deleted topics are not done as of now we are sticking on to reduce syllabus deleted topics we are we will keep it to the last if time is permitting we will do that okay yes tomorrow's class uh 2:30 2:30 to 5 6 o'clock depending on when the topic is going to get over because you know the chapter is a very long chapter very very important chapter so we have to take some break we have to breathe we all have to breathe and study right so will you all be there all of you have holidays yes all of you have holidays or will you all go to college what is the will you all be there at 2:30 tell me quickly yes i want response yes okay okay only shiv kumar will be there huh? your microbes will do it. relax will do relax shall i do microbes part 2 in special class shall i do microbes part 2 in special class ambika ma'am is there why you're not watching ma'am's class ambika ma'am is also there on the channel i am also there on the channel Yes, I will definitely make it easy for you people to sit in three hours. But you should also make it easy for me to be here for three hours. Okay? So yes, YouTube. Ah, okay, fine. We will do it on YouTube. Students, now only very small portion is left. I think in half an hour that will be done. We can schedule it any time. Okay? Tomorrow, main goal is to complete molecular basis of inheritance. Once that is done, we will take if time permits, we will take microbes also. Don't worry. Okay? Don't worry. Okay, fine. We will do it on YouTube itself. Do not worry. Yes, and students, those who do not know or joined late, we have started our Un Academy Neat Malayalam channel. Just search on YouTube Un Academy Neat Malayalam. One video is already posted. We have launched that channel, and you can see me fully on that channel. Okay, so anything, any uh, any friends of yours who are Malayali students or who knows Malayalam and wants a medium like an easy way to communicate, please do share the link with them so that we will have a good amount of students there, and I can see the same Josh here and there. Okay, so yes. So whenever you miss me here, you can come and check it out on the Un Academy Neat Malayalam channel, right? Yes, MCQ practice sessions. Shiv Kumar, I've been doing so many MCQ practice sessions on special class. So please do go check out the recorded videos are there, and I would say more than recorded videos, it would be great if you join live to live for any MCQ round because I can check on your scores. I check the leaderboard every after every two questions. I tell you where you stand. I tell you if you have to speed up or not. So it's good if you are a part of our MCQ special class. Okay. <clears throat> students as of now this week we will not have much special class i mean much mcq sessions on the special class okay we will have it later so as of now we will try to focus um you know uh, portions that are you people are finding it difficult and people are not who are not available all the time on special class we will try to finish it here okay students i have cleared i hope i have cleared all your doubts Yes, whenever there is a special class, you will always get to know. Do not worry if you are following me. Thank you so much, and once again, happy Dasra. Stay safe, eat well, be happy, take proper rest. So from tomorrow, we can recharge and start all our classes, right? Yes, because your energy, okay, your energy is what makes us stand here and teach for longer hours your energy is what keeps us motivated to come with amazing content your your hope or this online mode even though i don't see you your words your uh, one statement telling ma'am thank you so much you made this so easy for me or your one comment makes us stand here and teach okay so keep the energy keep the thing always be humble how much ever you know always try to learn learn from all the teachers learn try to learn as much as possible because no education is a waste thank you so much students thank you so much gopika ma'am here no fear wow that's a good uh, line <laughs> go go type it on the comment section so i can take a screenshot and i can show everyone okay yes Thank you so much students so sweet of you all 
थैंक यू ओके थैंक यू सो मच स्टूडेंट्स टेक केयर हैव फन ईट नाइसली ईट यमी फूड ओके एंड डू नॉट फर्गेट टू लाइक द सेशन बिफोर यू लीव एंड कमेंट इफ द सेशन वॉज यूजफुल फॉर यू एंड टुमोरो वी विल कम विद मॉलिकुलर बेसिस ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस वन शॉट विथ ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ट्रस्ट मी इफ यू वॉच माई वन शॉट वीडियो यू विल नॉट हैव टू गो एनी वेर एल्स बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू टेक एन सी आर टी लाइन्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू टू द इजिएस्ट वे पॉसिबल ओके सो डू नॉट फर्गेट एंड गो सब्सक्राइब अन अकेडमी नीट मलयालम चैनल बिकॉज यू आर आर स्ट्रेंथ we try to make your dream our reality bye students thank you so much